gossip. I wonder what's coming up next. It's Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller. Awesome guy. <laughs> and the morning show starting Reb, Reb, Rebel Wilson. There we go. <laughs> and extremely early with Edward Scott. And it's all still to come on Nick and Knight. Peace. From the court, you two dogs are bad. <laughs> Hopefully, Brown White doesn't know. It's week now of the early moon, and now, man who spends each weekend thinking about how Val White is going to uh, keep her job beyond 2026, even though, let's be honest, she really wanted to leave the show with Pat Zajac, Mr. Ellie Cunningham Mueller. Ha! Welcome to week now update. I'm Ellie Cunningham Mueller, where's all grasshoppers? Come on, everybody, come on! Hey, boss, how are you? I'm all right, Tom. How about yourself? I'm doing great. Good. Let's get this show started. Now, we got a lot to get through tonight. First off, the theme song was composed by Dominic Mattis Piano, the cover band crew, the camera lady, Eva 2004, and Miles Shocker are responsible for most of the things that you're going to see and hear on this program tonight. And they are also our shout for our winners. I have said a mouthful already, and we are not even a couple of minutes into the show yet. Oh my goodness. You know what that means? We are in for a bumpy ride tonight. What's up? What's up? What's up? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What is a uh 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 what a uh, uh, is a uh, uh what a uh, uh, is a uh, uh what is a uh, what is a uh, what a uh, uh, is a uh, uh what a uh, uh, is a uh, uh what a uh, uh, is a uh, uh, uh what is a ba 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 What's up with Vella White, a woman who can't seem to stay away from the puzzle board? Something is just not right. Yeah, she got a new deal to do Wheel of Fortune for three more years, but she said that the money wasn't important. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll believe that. Now, she wanted to leave with Pat Zajac, but she chose not to. I mean, why? Is he nuts? Who paid her to do that? Oh, Maggie Smith. I knew it! He's evil! See, this is why you should never be friends with Maggie Smith. She is going to ruin your career. I'm serious. And B, it's time for another topic. Let's see what you can do. Does everybody know what time it is? Is it time for something that involves a weeknight update? That's correct. It's time for our top eight. Yeah, top eight to know what the top eight things are. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what the top eight is going to be this time. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. Well, Ellie's going to figure it out. Yeah, Tom, it's absolutely so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Take it away, Ellie! Yeehaw! Thank you very much, boss. Tonight's category topic reasons why Val White didn't want to leave Wheel of Fortune yet. It's going to be a long one, folks, so buckle up. Number eight, you didn't want Isabella Mercado to replace her until the end of the decade. Number seven, she secretly has a crush on Ryan Seacrest. Number six, she loves her money. Number five, Sony made her an offer that she couldn't refuse. Number four, she wasn't called to host New Year's Rock and Eve for buying Seacrest. Number three, she stole a bunch of dresses last season. Number two, Nick at Night hasn't called her yet. And number one, Maggie Smith forced her to keep working. And one more one note before we get on to the rest of the show. Please do not trust Maggie Smith, folks. Thank you, MP. Those are two. Who said Yes. Oh, you know the drill. Hashtag week now. Up the hashtag L Wolf. Right now, hashtag L Wolf. Don't tell me hashtag spread love. Get those things to transport to media, please. 
And while you're at it, like the thing, subscribe, read the Bible channel, link in the comment section like down below. But don't go anywhere because we've got Edward Scott coming up. Followed by special delivery, the most resistant to the choir, more for everyone, talking time, and the experiments with, uh, with all the uh, bells and whistles. So, you know that it's going to be a good show. Stay with us. The show continues after this. This is still week now, update now. Here it is, your Story time. The receptionist's dark secret was that the computers were only used for Minesweeper. How did you know? to shop for carpeting, you're in for a shock. High prices. Padding and installation. Extra six weeks for delivery. Well, you know Empire's prices start at only $6.95 a yard, including padding and installation. And you know we deliver in three to four days and give you a free Bissell shampoo with two rooms. And if you call now, you get a free T-shirt with any order. So call Empire. I bet you know the number, too. 588-2300-EMPIRE. We get classier all the time. You're still fooling around with that other carpet company, aren't you? After all we've been through, after all my promises to you, now the holidays are almost here, you need me. I can deliver next day, he can't. I give you till next spring to make a payment, he doesn't. And all the gifts I offer you, he'd never do that for you. I just don't know what you see in him. Call me, huh? Let's talk. After all, I'm your carpet guy. Mr. Edward Scott and the boys, I end. Hey, boss, is it true that Brown White is going to stay on Wheel of Fortune, you know, uh, past the 2023 uh, 2024 television season? <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact, I just uh, mentioned the fact that Brown White is going to stay on Wheel of Fortune for three more years. I see. Whoa, 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 wait I don't think he wanted to leave the show with Pat Sajak. I thought so too, but. Apparently, uh, Maggie Smith brainwashed Vanna. Yeah, I suspected that. Really? You suspected that? I mean, you thought that was gonna happen? Yeah, Maggie Smith is evil. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Maggie Smith is evil. You know what? It's time for another special delivery. Now, Keep this in mind, okay? The camera lady and the Kirby crew have one hour ideas for special delivery. Alright, and the camera lady told me that they are currently coming up with new ideas for special delivery, and once they get the new ideas, they'll be able to make new episodes of special delivery. In the meantime, here is an episode of special delivery that they came up with before they ran out of ideas. to do some golf and this is what it's really all about I mean seriously
Was it game? Was it game? Huh? A nice good old shot. My turn. All right, here we go. Oops, too much. Hello. Oh, hi there, Poe. Um, okay. Yeah, nice on. Thank you. Oh, boy. Too much. Birdie chance. Dang it, I wasn't even powerful enough. Par, I'll take a par. A nice solid par. I'll take a par too. That was so bad. Alright. Give me that good one. I know I'm in the bunker. Shut up, audience. Stop! What? Yeah, that's pretty good. I thought I would make it to the hole. I thought so too. Hang on. Too much! I'll take a par! A nice solid par! I'm gonna get myself a not good par. A bogey! Well, crap! All right. Uh, okay, not bad. Wow, good one, Po. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see if I can make this one. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Alright. Um. Oh boy. No. No. What are you doing? Oh, what kind of a shot was that? I mean, crap dang. Sure. Oops, too much. All right, I'm in the rough. All right, okay, yeah, not bad, not bad. All right. 
right, let's see if how I'm gonna absolutely make this. Oops, too much. All right, let's see how I can do this. Ooh! Party chance! Oh my crap. How am I supposed to get it to the hole? Wow, that was bad. Well, bogey for me. Okay, I'll take myself a par. A nice, solid par. Yep, a bogey. So it's officially a tie. Yep, a tie. So, good game. Yeah, good game. Alright, take it away, Ellie. That was incredible. That was brilliant. And now, I believe at this time, for the Multiverse Disability Choir under the direction of Evil Hour 2004. <laughs> oh my little aura. Are you crying? Are you crying or out for Lucario? I think you did. I think you really did. Oh, don't cry bestie. Lucario's here. Lucario's here. Here bestie. I'll cradle you no matter what. Come here. Come to Lucario. The bear, the bear. Lucario's here. Lucario's here. You'll be okay. I promise. Oh no, bestie. The bear, the bear. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Lucario's here. Lucario's here. I'm a Tibus Disability Choir. Will you help me sing a very special lullaby for Princess RKG? Sure, Lucario. Anything for RKG. That's good to hear, Diamond. Let's sing along. Aw, oh, the bear, the bear. Please don't cry, RKG. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. It's okay. Lucario's here, Lucario's here. Here. We'll sing you a very special lullaby just for you. The bear, the bear. It's okay, partner. Lucario's here. Lucario's here. The bear. Lucario's here. I'll protect you. You're so adorable when you sleep. Rest easy, bestie. Just remember that Lucario loves you and so does your mom and daddy. Dreams Bestie. Lucario loves you very much. And a welcome baby, cradle and
that was brilliant. That was truly amazing. And now, I believe a moment for everyone is in order here. All right. A moment for everyone. You have probably heard about uh, the dangerous uh, news stories that have been lurking around everybody's brains lately. You know, about wars and things like that. I'm not going to go uh, too deep into that, uh, you know, what topic because I feel as though what uh, that has been. Uh, you know what, destroyed uh, to the point of no return, but I do want to say this, all right? You know, we really need to come together because if we don't, then even worse things are going to happen. And <laughs> seeing as though May Smith has been squirming around the TV sets uh, lately, with her appearances on Wild and Out and her very, very, very brief appearances on a little show called Ridiculousness. I have a feeling that we are getting closer and closer to the end of uh, human civilization. All right, so we need to stick together and we need to come up with uh, great solutions, you know, together. Now, as a team, okay? Because whether you want to admit it or not, we're all human beings here. And if we don't do something soon, then it might be too late, all right? And also, you know, let's stick together and let's protect one another. Can we do that, please? All right, now, let me uh, tell you this, all right, everyone out there needs to watch out for Maggie Smith, all right, she is a villain, you know, she is evil, you know what, uh, you may think that uh, she is a nice person, but as soon as uh, she starts, uh, you know, making you feel bad, they're going to think, oh snap, he is horrible. All right, so whatever you do, please, please do not talk to uh, May Smith. In fact, if you see May Smith out in the public, run away as fast as you can. All right, and here's a little uh, note for the uh, TV networks. All right, do not give her a TV show, right? Do not, because <laughs> that woman is bad news. All right, here we go. It's time for a little talking time. Here we go. Hey, do you know what time it is? That's right. It's talking time. By what he's going to talk about. So let's talk about it. <laughs> Last summer, we talked about how Brown White has been trying to uh, stay on the Wheel of Fortune, even though you and I, you know, uh, agree on the fact that, you know, if Pat Dijak can retire, then Brown White might as well uh, leave with him, because, you know, without uh, Pat and Vanna, you know, you really can't uh, have Wheel of Fortune. Well, unless, of course, Brian Seacrest teams up with Isabel Mercado, and we're all hoping that uh, that happens in the not-too-distant future. 
you know. But anyway, long story short, last month it was confirmed that she will be staying on Wheel of Fortune until the year 2026. And I'm like, okay. This is going to be rough. You know what, folks? The last time that Ben White did Real Fortune without Pat Sajak, Real Fortune was off the air you know, almost immediately afterwards. And again, Real Fortune was also uh, in syndication as well as, you know, on the network. No, wait, actually, I had that reversed. Real Fortune was also uh, on the TV network back then, as well as in syndication. Now it's just in syndication for various uh, specials that are happening here and there on uh, the ABC television network. I know. Very, very, very confusing. Of course, Val White said that uh, she had to make a very hard decision when Pat Sajak announced that he was leaving Wheel of Fortune. You know, like she said, you know, of course it's a thought. It's like, well, wait, if you're leaving, what am I going to do? How can I stay without you? It was a very hard decision for me to make because it definitely crossed my mind. It's like, I just don't know if I can do this without you. But I thought about it, and I'm not ready to retire, so I'm staying on. Really? Werner? Manny Smith whispered in your ear. Okay? Stop listening to uh, people like Maggie Smith and start going with your guts, all right? And start going with your heart, all right? For heaven's sakes. Now, she did say this when she found out that Brian Teak was, was going to take over for Pat Sajak. She said, I know Brian. He is professional. He's good at what he does. He's kind. I think it's going to be good. He's such a nice guy, and he loves what he does. He said, look, I'm not replacing Pat. I'm not going... I'm not going in to try and fill Pat's shoes. No one can ever replace him. He says he's coming in to do a good job and to keep the show going. And I'm looking forward to working with him. I think that Van White uh, said that under her own breath. All right, so... I don't know. I really don't know. All right? This thing on? All right, cool. It's on. Everything's cool. Perfect. Phew. My, oh my. This has been a bumpy ride. But you know what? I am glad that this is over. Now, let's go over to the uh, end experiment, and after that, we'll uh, carry on uh, with the weekend. I hope that you will enjoy the end experiment, and I also hope that you will enjoy your weekend. Phew! After a, a crazy week, we all need, you know, a little time to uh, relax. I'll see you back here again on Monday. Thank you so much for watching. That's the news, and I am Outski. For all by for all. I can't think of a better way to uh, go into this, but... Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the NA experiments. Here we go. And now, for a completely different uh, point of view, here's the random box with Knuckles. Hey, pay attention. It's time for the random box with Knuckles. Hopefully, Matty Smith won't ruin this episode. I keep hearing things about Maddie Smith everywhere I go, and it's really getting on my last nerves. Some people have been calling Maddie Smith the future of late night TV, and I must say this for the last time, she is not the future of late night TV. There are a few people who will revolutionize the late night talk show format and change the late night game. One of the most important people who will absolutely do so is the one and the only Ellie Muller. Maddie's jokes are so bland. Some people have said that she reminds them of Jim Carrey. Those people 
really need to grow up. Jim Carrey is actually funny. Manny Smith wouldn't know real comedy if it hit her over the head like a sledgehammer. I wonder if Manny Smith voiced Vanna White to steal on Will of Fortune. She probably did. Vanna wanted to leave Will of Fortune with Pat Sajak, and Maddie made her stay. Shame on you, Maddie. You really need to stop. You have destroyed Hollywood. You're so bad that you made Lily Singh good by default. Wait, Lily Singh is twice as bad as Manny Smith is. Can you imagine the two of them doing a show together? That would be totally horrible. Can you believe Lily had a late night talk show on NBC for two years? That was horrible. She clearly ruined the 1.30 a.m. time slot for NBC Network. NBC can't even get a late night talk show to air after The Tonight Show and Late Night anymore because of her. I wonder how bad Maddie Smith would be if she ever gets a late night talk show. She will be awful. Nick Cannon made a bad decision when he hired her in 2019. I'm surprised he didn't fire her yet. This has been The Random Box with Knuckles, a production of Cats and Shoes and Nick and Knock. When Landy breaks, we fix it. Don't worry, Manny Smith will never host a late night talk show on TV. Good morning. I wonder what's coming up next. It's our last show of the night. Comment of the week with Ellie Muller. And then we'll switch over to Nicktoons to watch SpongeBob SquarePants and The Loud House. That's all still to come on Nick at Night. From the Eric Beyond. Have a good morning. Bye. Hi, folks. Who has this week's comment of the week? Well, we're about to find out right now. So if you are ready, then let's do this. This week's question for uh, the comment of the week was this. If you could work for any celebrity for a week, then who would it be and why? And these are the responses that people have given me. Well, Jazz Wacky and Clank said Abby uh, Jacobson. He uh, said that uh, she's cool. Anthony Shomata's pop culture's opening said Peyton List because he thinks that she is awesome. Of course, I asked him if he has a crush on her and he said yes. Mm hmm. Yeah, we don't need to go uh, too far into that. Uh, Talk to me if you're heartbroken. You know, was a little uh, curious as to whether or not uh, Todd should choose Taylor Swift or Justin Bieber. And I told Todd uh, that, you know, it's really up to Todd. You know, Todd to me if you're heartbroken never uh, responded you know, to that, but that's okay. And William Beanham said, that he doesn't know. Well, in all honesty, it was an odd question, but Talk to Reefy Heartbroken and William Beanham both won this week. That's pretty good. And so, for uh, the rankings, you know, William Beanham is in first place, Talk to Reefy Heartbroken has leapfrogged into uh, second place, and Anthony Short does Pop Cultures and Openings, and Jazz Ratchet and Clank are not too far behind. Amazing job, everybody. Let's see what happens next week. This has been another comment of the week installment. I mean, no, no, wait. This has been another installment of the comment of the week segment. Yes, or the comment of the week challenge. There you go. That's even better. Next week will be exciting. All right, so please, please. Get ready to participate. Okay, so Van White has decided to stay on Wheel of Fortune for a little while longer. She should have left the show with Pat Sajak. You know, that's what she wanted to do. But, apparently Sony made an offer that she couldn't refuse. And May Smith uh, was her agent or her manager. Actually, I think, uh, you know, she still is a manager, and I don't know. All I know for sure is that 
Brandon shouldn't have uh, listened to Maggie Smith. That's all I'm going to say. So, what did we learn? Well, we learned that Val White is going to stay on Wheel of Fortune for a little while longer. We also learned that Val White secretly wanted to leave Wheel of Fortune with Pat Sajak, but she decided to change her mind. And finally, we've learned that Brown White is actually staying on Wheel of Fortune because Maggie Smith told her to. We gotta move, but before we go, here it is, your musical performance time. It is time, once again, for another musical performance time performance. How many of you can remember this song? Fulfillment of all your wildest dreams What you get from us here in TV land Is good 